What's going on everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Robin and in this channel I talk, cover everything related software. In this video I want to talk about the AI agent I've built and here it is. It is a chat widget. So basically you can query anything uh, you uh, want. Um, what is Jido? And it will start answering the question based on the training data you gave. And uh, so yeah it is a very very simple chat widget and um, uh, it looks like this uh, you can see what did we just queried and the uh, response from ai and the training is based on the website crawling uh, you can basically enter your website here and it will find all the links from the front page or the URL you, that you just gave and uh, you can start syncing. Uh, you can also mm, train the data based on uh, by uploading a file. So yeah, that's the simple application and I'm gonna actually show you the uh, tech stack behind it. Mm, I actually showed this tech stack on the live stream I did, but the video was taking that, taken down because I, ha I was playing music on the background and I got copyright striked. So yeah, mm, it is a simple application. I'm using Laravel as a backend. Uh, this is a Laravel application and uh, I'm using everything that I can uh, from Laravel and its responsibility is to train the Pinecone RAG database and also saves it to a Cloudflare bucket. And then we have a Next.js application. It uses uh, Vercel's AI SDK as a framework. And its only responsibility is to query from Pinecone and post the response back to Laravel. And it saves that. That's why you see the responses here. Uh, here. And yeah. That's a that's the tech stack. It very it's very simple. Uh, it is not monolith and it is not separate. It is kind of a hybrid between. Yeah, it's a, it is a hybrid application. But why did I build an AI application? There is so much AI chatbots out there. Well, the thing is that AI is moving so quickly that. I didn't want to get left behind like I did with crypto. So AI, uh, AI chatbot was the simple application to start with. And to be honest, if I were never built this application, I would never learn about observability or evals. Evals is like your AI application is as good as your evals, which is tests for AI. Yeah, right. Um, I also have a changelog feature that I've been building behind the scenes. What it does, it integrates to your GitHub and it fetches all the merged uh, pull requests from your repo and using AI, it generates the changelog for you automatically. So here's the changelog uh, preview from one of my applications. It is a very simple uh, change log, but it is better than no change logs. So uh, once the change log has been published, you can get into this beautiful change log page, which is hosted on Gideon. You can use a custom domain or you can even pull this change log from an API in the future. And here we're selectively using AI to make our lives easier. The main takeaway here is that you got to make your feet wet in order to learn and stay on the pulse. Here's what I did. I was just building a simple application and I learned a lot. And so should you, I think. Okay, like the video below and see you on the next video. All right, bye.